Nehemiah was living in Persia serving the king. He was sad when he heard that the beautiful city built by David and Solomon was now just a pile of stones. Nehemiah prayed to God and decided, I must do something. I will go and help the people rebuild Jerusalem. Once he got permission from the king, Nehemiah journeyed to Jerusalem. He was ready to start rebuilding the walls so the people could be protected from their enemies. While the city slept, Nehemiah and his men rode their horses around the outside of Jerusalem to inspect the broken walls and come up with a plan to fix them. The next day, Nehemiah gathered the Jewish leaders and explained the, the plan. Each citizen will be responsible for repairing the part of the wall that is in front of his home or shop. The people worked hard, and at first the work went well. But then some of their enemies started to cause trouble. Uh, they made fun of Nehemiah and his plan. But Nehemiah told them to mind their own business. When the walls were halfway finished, the builders became tired and discouraged. They worried, that they worried the neighboring enemies would hurt them while they worked. Nehemiah knew how to encourage the people. Don't be afraid, said Nehemiah. Remember the Lord. He is great and powerful. To protect the new walls and safeguard the people, Nehemiah posted guards. He instructed the workers to carry a weapon. The builders worked with a spear at their side or a sword on their belt. The walls and the people were safe. When the walls were completed, the people celebrated. The priests and officials divided the people into two groups. They marched around the walls in opposite directions and met at the temple for a thanksgiving service and a great feast. Well, boys and girls, I told you that we were going to talk about what it means to serve with all of our heart and that I was going to talk to you about this, this thing that I've got going up here, this wall. And here's the story. This is a story straight out of God's Word, straight out of the Bible. It's a story about a guy by the name of Nehemiah. These are some different names, aren't they? Kind of different. Does anybody in, in here know somebody named Nehemiah? Anybody know a Nehemiah? Okay, one or two of you. Yeah, that's not a real common name. So let's go ahead and say that name together. Can you say Nehemiah? Nehemiah, absolutely. And Nehemiah, he was, uh, he was a guy, and, and he was actually uh, working for a king, okay? And, and he was working from a, for a king someplace other than where he was from. He was actually from a city called Jerusalem, and he was serving a king that was someplace else. And, and, and here's what happened. You see, the city of Jerusalem had this, had this big old wall around it. Right? Have you ever gone to a neighborhood that has a wall all the way around the neighborhood? Well, there's, there's some of those out there, but, but, but back in the Bible times, the cities that, that they would build, they would build this big old wall. You know why they put a wall around their city? To keep it Absolutely, to keep it safe, yeah. It, it was a way to stay, to, 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 for, the, for them to be protected from anybody that might want to come and, and do bad things to them. And so Jerusalem had this, th th this place where Nehemiah was from. It had this really cool wall that went around it. Unfortunately, there were some, some really bad people that came, and, and what they did is they actually knocked that wall down. See, that's kind of what happened here. So, so all of a sudden, rather than there being a solid wall right here, those, those bad guys, they came in and they, they knocked the part of the wall down. They walked this part down. They knocked that part down. All around the city of Jerusalem, there were holes in the wall. Now, is a wall with a hole in it, is it any good? No, right? It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And so Nehemiah, he's over here serving this king. He's not in Jerusalem right now, but he's over here serving this king someplace else. And, and, and he gets word. Somebody comes and says, oh, Nehemiah, I'm so sad. They come to him and they say, Nehemiah, I'm so sad. I just got to tell you, the city of Jerusalem, the wall that goes around it, it's in such bad shape. There are holes in the wall everywhere. And Nehemiah, he goes, oh, my goodness. And that just made him sad because that was his home. That's where he was from. And he thought, oh, if, if, if Jerusalem, if my hometown doesn't have a wall around it anymore without holes in it, that, that just made him so sad. So he went to the king that he was serving. He said, king, king, I just want to ask you, can I go back to my hometown and can I help them build that wall back up? And the king said, yeah, Nehemiah, you can. And so Nehemiah, he takes off, and he goes to Jerusalem, and he gets to Jerusalem, and he looks at the wall, and he's walking around, and he goes, oh, my goodness, I can't believe this. Look, at the, the, there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge hole right here, and there's a, and there's a hole back here, and, and there's just, it just, oh, and it just made him so sad. So you know what he did? 
He said, you know what? Let's rebuild this thing. Let's fix the wall. And you know why he did that? He did that because God asked him to do it. So all of a sudden, Nehemiah becomes like this server. Remember we talked about in a restaurant how a server, you would tell them what, they, what, what you would like, and then they go and they get it, and they, they give it to you, they serve you in that way? Well, that was the same thing with Nehemiah. God told Nehemiah, Nehemiah, I want you to help to build that wall back up. And all of a sudden, Nehemiah is a server, and so you know what Nehemiah said to God? He said, yeah, okay, God. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. So he ran around, and he got a bunch of his friends together, and, and he organized all of them, and he got all of the provisions, all of the, all of the bricks that they would need to rebuild the wall. And so you know what? They got, to they got busy, and they started to rebuild that wall. Brick by brick by brick by brick, everybody joined in, and they started to rebuild that wall around Jerusalem. But you know what, boys and girls? Not everybody around the city of Jerusalem liked the fact that they were rebuilding the wall. And so some of those people that didn't like this wall to be rebuilt, they came out, and while the people were putting bricks up one by one by one, they started to yell down to them and said, Hey, hey, come here, come here. We want to we talk to you about something. They were trying to distract them. They were trying to get them to stop building the wall so that the wall wouldn't be built. Well, they, they could have, but they, they, didn't, they didn't knock down what they had rebuilt, but they still, they said, come here, we want to tell you something, we want to talk to you, we want you to do something else. But you know what Nehemiah did? Nehemiah looked at those guys and they said, he said, no way. God told me this is what we're supposed to do, and this is what we're going to do. And so they got back, got back to work, and they kept, they kept on building the wall, brick by brick by brick. They kept putting them on there, and they kept stacking, and they kept going, and oh my goodness, they just worked every single day. They worked all day long. They worked late into the night. They were just going and going and going, just continually putting these bricks back up, trying to rebuild that wall the way God asked them to do it. And you know what finally happened, boys and girls? They got really tired. And so they said, oh, we just can't lift another brick we cannot i'm just we're just so exhausted so tired so you know what happened nehemiah once again he said guys i know you're tired so we're gonna we're gonna do things a little differently so that you can keep on building the wall the way god wants us to and still be okay get you get enough rest and all that good stuff and so he helped them learn he, he taught them how to how to keep going on the wall on the wall and, and and do it in a way that they wouldn't get so tired and so the people they went back to work and they said oh that sounds great and so they went back and they started building that wall again some of the bricks were crooked as you can see you know and they just kept going and going and going and you know what the bible says boys and girls the bible says that eventually in fact in just 52 days that's not a very long time in just 52 days nehemiah and all of his friends completely rebuilt the wall around jerusalem they did what God told them to do. They served God the way he wanted them to serve him. So boys and girls, here's what I want you to remember from this story. When God has you doing something, look, there's going to be some times where people are going to distract you, things are going to distract you, they're going to want to draw you away, they're going to they're want you to come and do something different, they're going to try and get your attention away from what it is that God told you to do. Remember Nehemiah when that happens and say, no, this is what I'm supposed to do, and I'm going to do that. That's what it means to serve God with all your heart. You stay focused on what it is that God has asked you to do, and you do what he asked you to do. And when you get tired and you don't feel like you can keep going, that you can keep doing what God told you you need to do, all you need to do is pray to God because, you know, God tells us, that he gives us the rest that we need. He'll make sure that you get enough rest and enough energy to keep doing what it is that he's asked you to do. All right? So can you remember that? Next time you've you're, you got something that you're supposed to be doing and you think, you know, God's, God's, God is something that God really would want you to do, you just 
serve him with all your heart, and you keep doing what he asked you to do. So boys and girls, why don't you pause right here and just take a moment and talk with your family and, and just kind of answer and talk about these questions. Maybe just ask yourself and ask one another, what is it that God has asked you to do? What is it that God wants you to be doing right now? And the other question I would suggest that you talk about is, what distractions, what are the things going on around you that cause you to lose focus and maybe um, be tempted to do something other than what God is asking you to do? Talk about those things with your family, and we'll be right back. Well, I hope you had a good time uh, talking about those uh, questions and that it was a, um, you know, something that, that really gave you some, some insight and helped you to see some places where uh, you might be able to do a better job serving God the way he has asked you to do so. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, go to a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for asking me to serve you. Help me to serve you all the time the way you want me to thank you for giving me the rest that I need to serve you in Jesus name amen well boys and girls that's it for this week I want to thank you again for joining us uh, for yet another week in the story uh, we'll look forward to uh, uh, seeing you again next time as we continue our journey through the story. Have a great day. See you later. Hey, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed another exciting week in the story. And if you're enjoying these YouTube videos, here are a couple things we'd like to ask you to do. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure to like the video, to subscribe to our channel for continued more content um, as we put things out relating to the story and other things that we have on our channel. And make sure to share the video as well. Absolutely. All right. Enjoy your week. Have a good See week. ya.